Ho 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 and welcome to Raspberry on a Boat. Well, last time we started with uh, OpenPlotter, we installed OpenCPN and the first tools. This time we want to add some external sensors, um, I2C sensors, so we will use the onboard tools to get them working and um, use also PyPilot. Let's go! So the first thing we have to do is to install some further programs of OpenPlotter to support the external sensors we want to connect. Uh, I have I2C or I2C sensors, however you want to call it here. So we will install the program I2C sensors. Unfortunately, not all sensors are supported there and we want to connect a compass sensor. And for this one, we will also install PyPilot. This supports the sensor, we will see this later, and even though this is also I square C sensor. I did connect already a BME 280 sensor wire I square C. So I square C is using four pins, uh, the voltage, uh, the ground pin, and then two pins for clock and data. If you want to connect multiple sensors, just put them on parallel, but they need to have a different bus address of course. So when you have this installed we can uh, put, uh, you have to check if your I2C interface is on which you can find in the raspberry config uh, settings. So I did turn it on already but usually it's off so this must be on otherwise you can't access the support on the raspberry. All right we will already install also signal K Signal K is another server, it's like Kplex, which we did install last time, but using a different protocol. It's an open protocol, which is a little bit more modern than NMIA 0183. So um, when you take a look at our different sensors, we will have some connected with Signal K automatically based on the open plotter software. Uh, our UART was already last time connected with Kplex and GPS, we can decide which one we take. And then we can use the server to connect to local programs like OpenCPN, but we can also use Wi-Fi, which we also did already, um, to forward this to external plotter softwares like NVCharts. So the idea is always the same. Yeah? So we want to take sensor data, convert it to make it available on one of our servers um, to get it in the programs. One way is to use these I2C software. We can add sensors which are in the list. You see there is one sensor connected on 76. That is our BME 280. That's the default address uh, of the BME sensors. And you see I get three different parameters. I get pressure, temperature and humidity. That's what the sensor is delivering. Not all parts I can use because you can just use what OpenCPN, for example, is, um, is supported by OpenCPN. So we need to get this to uh, Signal K. This is already set by a default port. Not so important for us, this port. Um, but when we take a look at Signal K, that's important. We see in the address line it's running on port 3000. Log in with your default credentials of your Raspberry and then you can see um, some... We don't have to do any setting here now because everything is set by these I2C sensor software. Uh, it's already set up here in Signal K. The sensor is there. Um, this is the port to get the data in. But we need to need to get the data out and also this is already set. So this data is available on port 3000. We can see this when we go to the dashboard that the I2C sensor is set. It's receiving data and sending data. So uh, this is now available on signal K. So it's important to understand that like Kplex, signal K is offering all data of many sensors maybe at once on the server. And the Kplex server is known by OpenCPN, but not Signal K. So we take si network again and Signal K this time. So that's available, this data format. We take local host 127001 and the port 3000 as discussed. I 
prefer 127.0.1 than the IP address of the Raspberry because this can change. Localhost is never changing. So it will always work even if the Raspberry has a different IP address next time. All right, um, now we can go to plugins and there's a dashboard plugin by default. We just need to enable it and then we can configure it. And in the preferences, there's a list of sensors. Only these sensors, which we will now see, is, are available. Um, so barometric pressure uh, in different formats like uh, uh, gauge, also historic way so that you see data which uh, has been generated before is available, but you can't define your own. So that means it must have the right name also in the data stream. That's given by I2C and Signal K of OpenPlotter. And the dashboard is there showing the barometric pressure and it will also now create a curve with the historic values. As this has been pure fun, let's connect the next sensor, the MPU9250. That's also an I2C sensor, exactly the same way to connect it, but it has different sensors, of course. It's a 9-axis sensor which delivers pitch uh, and so on. We need PyPilot for that. So it will automatically detect the sensor. So when you uh, take a look here, it already says the sensor is connected. And we can also use now PyPilot to make this sensor available on Signal K. So don't ask me why this is now only in PyPilot, maybe because um, this is made for autopilot sensing. We can check this easily. Just turn on, for example, the acceleration sensor. And when you yeah, move your sensor unit uh, up and down or left and right or whatsoever, you will see uh, the curve. So um, there is acceleration measured. You can also start calibration, then you see a nice boat and you see that the compass and also um, yeah, tilt and so on can be measured. So that's working as well. And also these values are available now in Signal K. So um, we can go to Signal K, I remove the other sensor and we see the sensor of PyPilot and there are different values inside. You can see this wall pitch, yaw and also below the magnetic um, heading. And as this is also standardized, this can be used on OpenCPN again. So we need to open the dashboard again. I removed all other readings and we can add now heel, for example, we can add pitch, um, we can at the magnetic course, which is calculated based on the compass or the compass values are shown there. And when we say OK, we will see this uh, in our dashboard. If I get this resized somehow, it's sometimes a little bit tricky. So, but you see already the values. And when I move now um, the PCB, I will take in a picture, but it's not 100% synchronized now, but you see that there are changes. So you need to do some calibration, of course, otherwise it doesn't make sense. So you need to put it on a fixed place on your boat and calibrate the complete system. Otherwise, um, the values don't help. So if you just want to see values, uh, we are done. If you want to enable autopilot, you need to do this. Um, and now you can add external stepping motors to set uh, your rudder position. Um, I don't have one here, but just to show you shortly how this is working, there's a control unit where you can uh, set the parameters of the autopilot. So there are several things available, um, different modes uh, from simple to yeah, comprehensive, let's say. You can set different parameters, you can start a tag. Um, and when you take it the upper left side, this AP, that's a button to turn on autopilot and uh, turn it off. So when I click it, it gets green for on. But from this point on, you need to uh, dig deeper on your own because I don't have a autopilot here. Well, okay, let's take a look now at GPS. We need a GPS input, so there are several available. I took this one, the VK162 USB GPS module, plug and play, really easy to connect, waterproof cable. 
you need just to connect it on your USB port. It's also magnetic. You can put it on metal. It's also nice. Um, and when you press refresh in serial, you will directly find it. And one function of serial is that you can define now an alias so that even if there's something changing, you have it available always. Oh, you need to use small letters. If you use um, capital letters, you get an error. So small letters and put in mir0183 as a source. So this is now available. And now the question is, where do we put it on signal K or Kplex? And let's start uh, with signal K because that's by default available here. So if you press this one, you can add it to signal K. Um, take the baud rate of 38400. And now it's already in signal K. So the signal K server needs to restart. And when we open signal K, we will see there is another sensor. It's a GPS sensor. And this will deliver GPS data. Again, the term for GPS is standardized. OpenCPN is already connected to Signal K, so the GPS data is already here. The boat is now red. It turned red because it has a GPS signal. And on the upper right corner, you can see the GPS um, reception. One remark, of course, your GPS mouse needs a clear line to the sky to get GPS data in. So if you want to use Kplex instead of Signal K, you need to turn it off. So the boat is black already because I did turn it off um, because I went to settings or not to settings, to serial. And in serial, I disabled the Signal K for GPS. So I also removed the alias, but that's not important. You can keep this one, but important is to remove here the connection to Signal K. And you need to remember the device name, so this ACM0, uh, if you remove the alias. And as I said, I did a manual Kplex installation, so I will stop the service now. This is for the advanced users who want to use Kplex, maybe also without OpenPlotter and uh, providing GPS. So we edit the Kplex configuration file. Um, as we did it in chapter 2, so you need to watch chapter 2 to follow this tutorial here. I already uh, did some commenting for the serial so that AIS is off. And let's start a new one. Let's start a GPS uh, and mirror for Kplex. And uh, we define the file name. And this is now the USB name which we saw there with this, um, what was it, TT. Y ACM and then zero. So that's already the definition for this uh, interface. And now we need to define a baud rate. We take again 38400. We did this already um, also for, for the signal K definition. Um, we need to define a direction. So it's again in and we need to give it a name um, or it's not necessary, but I prefer that. By the way, the output server is still existing here. Yeah, So we have already an output server set and this is still active. Um, oh, I forgot to define that this is a serial. When we now try to start the service again, let's do this manually, not the service. We start Kplex to get the error message. And when we do this, we get this parsing uh, error at line 39. So that's a help. So when we go back to this line, we will see so we see that the uh, heading is missing. It is serial in this case. Um, so we edit, we save it, we close it, and we restart it now. Not the service, we start Kplex manually to see if there's an error message. No error message. Let's take a look at OpenCPN. And in OpenCPN, if everything is working, we see now the boat went red again. GPS information is there. Means now it's working via Kplex, not via Signal K anymore. Well, I think that's enough for now and our second part. That was uh, all about OpenPlotter from my side. Play with it, continue uh, with what you have learned. For example, you can add some other dashboard items like I do it here because GPS is offering time and number of satellites. And you learned how Signal K and uh, Kplex come together with OpenCPN and all the plotter uh, services. 
I wish you all uh, f the best for your projects. Continue from here. Have fun with that. Um, by the way, Merry Christmas <laughs> and a Happy New Year. See you on the next one.